In this video, we're going to be using the Razor Rock Gold Label Shaving Soap and the Razor Rock Game Changer Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in folks, welcome in. Today, as mentioned before, we're gonna be using Razor Rock Gold Label Shaving Soap, which is very hard, triple milled, very, very good cost. Now, I got this in a multi-pack and the price was about 78 cents an ounce, which is exceptional, but you can also buy it by the puck. It's about 6.99 per ounce on our cost chart there. Still exceptional, 199 per ounce. And again, this is a very hard soap, so it will give you really good value. It will last a long time. The scent on this is very, very good. It is that Aqua de Parma type uh, Italian citrus sort of scent. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's just a great scent. So if you've had Triple X or Sterling Piacenza, this is the scent on this soap. And I got a reasonably good lather with it with no problems at all. It's going to be more than adequate at the price. Not bad at all. I'm going to show you the ingredients of the soap right there. Again, very hard, triple milled. What I do is just cut a little piece off and press it into the bowl. And when I'm finished, there'll still be plenty left over. It does not take much of the soap to generate a lather. And we have a pretty good lather with it today, I do believe. The razor for today is the Razor Rock Game Changer, which is one of the best stainless steel values that can be had in traditional shaving, as far as I'm concerned. This is all stainless steel made in Canada, 0.84 blade gap, $54.99, which is just an incredible price. And this is just a really nice, smooth shaver. Gillette Nasset will be the blade today. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. I hope you're all having a great day so far. We will miss the face there and we'll mix our lather up. Now, one thing about the lather on some of these triple milled soaps, it may not burst into a creamy lather immediately, so you'll have to work some hydration in, but that's okay. Once we do, we'll get a, a nice lather with very little effort and at the price, it's not bad at all. And they put these on sale sometimes uh, and you can get them in multi-packs and so on and so forth. So the price on the, this is very, very, very good. And it will last a long time. I've had this, I don't know for how long, but I've had some of the hard pucks for a very, very long time, for years. And uh, they hold up quite nicely. And that can be said of most of the triple milled soaps. Um, they hold up for a long time and generally their value is pretty good. Even the ones that cost a little more, like Saponificio Veracino, that will last a very long time because the soap is concentrated and that uh, triple milling process, all that air and other things squeezed out, excess moisture squeezed out. So you're getting a very, essentially a, a sort of a concentrated soap is, would be one way of uh, describing it. And as you can see, there are no problem whatsoever with the lather. It might take a little more effort for you to lather it because it is so hard, uh, but once you get it lathered, it's going to be perfectly fine, more than adequate. All right, let's dry our hands off there and get going today with our game changer, which really, again, represents to me just a tremendous value. And I really like that Italian barber who has the Razor Rock brand over the years has really has really worked hard to provide good value. And I think a lot of people have taken advantage of that value and rightly so, because this is just a fine razor. Now, oftentimes I'm asked to prefer, to uh, compare, excuse me, the Lupo to the Game Changer. And I do prefer the Lupo because to me it's just a little more efficient, but I still own the Game Changer because I like it too. Um, I love the Lupo, I love this one. Both are very good razors, in my opinion, and both are, are well-priced. And so it's kind of hard to beat these stainless steel offerings uh, from, from Razor Rock. When it comes to price, they're very, 
very very good and the fit and finish although there is a disclaimer on italian barber's website about you know these are tools not gems the fit and finish is usually pretty good especially given the price so i'll give you an example so the console razor is what $350, something like that. The underside of that thing is terrible looking with all those marks. This razor at $54 <laughs> has a better fit and finish on the underside of the cap than does the console. So just an example there. Oh man, very nice. I have always enjoyed this game changer. Now, I don't know how long it's been now, maybe six years ago, Joe uh, from Italian Barber sent me a prototype of the game changer to test out and I loved it and when retail game changer came out I bought it because I really enjoyed it and so this is definitely a razor that I've had around for quite a while and I tested the uh, the prototype of the original too and uh, I'd say it's been a hit I would imagine that hundreds if not thousands of these have been sold because it's just a really easy going, nice shaver. And it gets the job done every time for me. In really uh, good, spectacular fashion, I would say. Lack of a better way of explaining it. I enjoy the razor, let's put it that way. All right, let's uh, mist for pass number two here. And get going. Again, the, the soap here smells like uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia. The, uh, Fragrance, fragrance uh, probably in the, maybe a little under medium range, but no problem at all with the lather. So again, you know, I do like to use these good value products and good value soaps along with everything else. And one of the reasons is I want everyone to understand a, what I think is a, a fundamental concept. Really, when it comes down to it, it given that you have decent quality gear, the rest is up to you. So in other words, buying a $25 soap is not going to make you a better shaver. You have to develop your technique and learn what your face tolerates and so on on your own. Um, if you buy reasonably good, decent gear and dial your technique in, that'll take you farther than anything else in this hobby, than gear, than, than all the other things that, this is a very gear focused hobby, obviously, myself included. Um, because we love to try things and I'm sort of in the, uh, I'm here and have been here for years to show you all these things and then you can make your own decision. So I'm trying everything, of course. Um, but when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, these very simple and affordable products like I'm using today, honestly, work as well as everything else. The only difference in my mind is sometimes the level of luxury and enjoyment like so when you get a really nice um shiny razor the sort of luxury of the experience holding it looking at it uh you know that makes you feel good sometimes it just feels good in the hand but where the rubber meets the road the actual shaving part rarely does it do much to be honest with you uh, some razors are better for people than others they're a better fit for for people than others. But most of the good razors are good, period. And so you just have to find what works best for you. So if you're brand new, don't think that you need to spend like crazy in order to achieve a great result. It's gonna be more about the way you learn to shave than anything else. And that's something I like to talk about because very few people do, quite frankly. And even though I'm here to show you all this gear and, and just make you aware of it, I'm also here to, to tell you the truth at all times and not lead you astray. A razor like this one, that's $54.99, all stainless, is as good as anything else in terms of the shave that it's going to provide me. Today is gonna to be absolute perfection. Now, do I like other razors, razors better, like the Apollo Light Razor? Yes, because the, that brings, I love to hold that razor. I love to look at that razor. I love the way it feels in my hand. So it brings a little more enjoyment to the party is what I'm getting at. And it just feels like a, a phenomenal fit for me. It fits me, so to speak. But when it comes down to it, this razor, 
the game changer today is going to provide me with a fantastic result. And it has every single time I've ever used it. So that's the message today. Don't feel compelled to spend like crazy if you don't have it because you're trying to either keep up with other people or get the quote best gear. Because any reasonably good shaver should be able to take even budget level gear and get an outstanding shave from it. That's the truth. And that goes for soaps, razors, brushes. The brush here today is probably $20, Razor Rock 400. Um, I have owned very, very expensive brushes. They don't really offer anything that other ones don't offer in terms of making a lather and applying it to the face, to be honest. Really what they might do for you is you prefer a certain style or not, you prefer a certain look, the enjoyment is what will be different or the level of luxury, perceived luxury. But where the rubber meets the road, a bore brush will make a lather, a synthetic brush will make a lather, a badger brush will make a lather and apply it to the face. And they don't, none of them have to be expensive to do so. And by and large, I do not use expensive brushes. It, to me, it's a waste other than to look at. Um, so I have some custom brushes just because they look great, but do they do anything that any brush, other brush doesn't do? Absolutely not. So just keep that in mind, folks. And today is a good day to have this discussion because we're using Razor Rock, which is a brand that's synonymous with great value, meaning you're getting good products for your money. And whether you're using this soap today, which is when I bought it sub $1 an ounce, perfect, perfect shape. <laughs> So as I like to say, the proof is in the pudding. What kind of shave are you getting? If it's perfect and, and you're using inexpensive gear and you love that, fantastic, thumbs up. If it's perfect and you're using very expensive gear, fantastic, thumbs up. But I do wanna give you correct information. And I don't wanna lead people astray, especially new people who think they gotta come in and spend a jillion dollars on gear. You don't because you can buy gear like this today and once you learn to use it, that's the key, perfection. Shaves will be perfect. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, got creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse, then we towed off with our Lancaster towel, prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with the Razor Rock Gold label. Very good value. You might have to work to get it creamy, but it provides for a great shave if you lather it right. Very inexpensive and the scent is great. I loved it. We also used the legendary, in my opinion, Game Changer 0.84, $54.99, tremendous value, all stainless steel made in Canada, just a great razor and I enjoy it every single time I use it. I use the Razor Rock 400 brush, which is uh, not expensive as well. And we're gonna close it out today with the Wet the Face, the Quiet Man Splash, which I'm working my way towards the bottom of, complete with the floaty, sorry about that noise. <laughs> that was my lather bowl, me bumping, and bumping it there and I hope you all have a great shave and a great day. I thank you so much for joining me. As always, until next time, I've been your host, CDP, reminding you it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.